Imagine the solar system as a giant arena, where planets are not quietly orbiting the sun, but rolling straight toward each other like cosmic wrecking balls. Today, we'll see which worlds can smash the most moons, how many could crush the Earth, and even what could take down Jupiter itself. From the smallest rocky planet to the blazing sun, let the planetary smash begin. First contender, Mercury. The smallest planet in our solar system, but don't underestimate it. Mercury is a ball of solid rock and metal, about one third the size of Earth, but incredibly dense. It's been scorched for billions of years, with daytime temperatures hot enough to melt lead and nighttime cold enough to freeze nitrogen. At full speed, Mercury could destroy six moons in a single hit. Not bad for the little guy. Next up, the red planet, Mars. Famous for its towering volcano Olympus Mons, nearly three times taller than Mount Everest, and deep canyons that would stretch across the United States, despite its thin atmosphere, Mars has the mass to pack a serious punch. One strike from Mars could wipe out nine moons instantly. Then there's Venus, Earth's evil twin. Similar in size, but wrapped in a toxic atmosphere with crushing pressure and hot enough to melt steel. Venus spins backwards compared to most planets, and a single day here lasts longer than its entire year. That sheer mass means Venus could obliterate 43 moons in one devastating strike. Finally, our home. Earth may seem peaceful from space, but it's a massive sphere of rock, iron, and water, moving at incredible speeds through the solar system. It's survived countless asteroid impacts, but today, it's the attacker. Earth could destroy 46 moons in a single hit, that's nearly the entire moon population of the outer solar system. Now we enter giant territory. Neptune, a frozen gas giant with supersonic winds and a storm system so massive it could swallow Earth whole. In a collision, Neptune could destroy 60 Earths without breaking a sweat. Uranus, the most tilted planet in our solar system, rolls on its side like a cosmic barrel. Its icy composition hides a boiling hot core. In our planetary smash, Uranus could wipe out 59 Earths. And then there's Saturn, with rings so wide they could stretch between Earth and the moon. Despite being mostly gas, Saturn's sheer size makes it a wrecking ball. One hit, and 260 Earths would be gone. Jupiter, the king of the planets, twice as massive as all the others combined. A single strike from Jupiter could erase 540 Earths. This is the ultimate planetary destroyer, at least among planets. But in the end, even Jupiter is small compared to the Sun. Our star is 1.3 million times the volume of Earth, a nuclear furnace burning at 15 million degrees in its core. In our cosmic smash test, the sun could destroy over 1,000 Jupiters and still keep shining. From tiny Mercury to the blazing sun, the solar system is filled with world destroyers. In the cosmic game of collisions, size truly decides the winner. But remember, out there beyond our sun, there are stars and black holes that make even this destruction look small.